just, just give us a bit of demo about the Unreal okay. product. Okay, so we've got the, the BTS Master looking at the over the air LTE, so there's some small network transmission taking place. We're managing to read some reference signal, some transmission over the air on the BTS Master. Right. So that's live LTE being transmitted around the room here. Oh, is that working? Yes. So it's very low signal level, but sometimes it pops up okay. to get real signal. Okay. And then we've got people on the UE testing. So we have the Samsung device, right. the commercial Samsung device bought from Telia from okay. Sweden. It's hooked up onto the uh, 848, 830 base station simulator. Right. It's running on the, the RTD control system. Now with fading, so we have full fading capability, mm -hmm. digital baseband fading included, and then hooking that to the RF analyzer, what we can see on the screen, the RF transmission characteristics of the UE. The, uh, so, so uh, what, uh, what is the data transfer speeds which you can get on the commercial uh, Samsung dongle? It's doing 100. You're getting 100? Yeah. And how long can you sustain that for? Until we switch it off. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Certainly, I mean, 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night isn't a problem. From 8 to 8, it works. So that's a, that actually tells about the reliability of yeah, the, very stable. the Samsung dongle as well as your uh, equipment. That's really good. You mean to prove MoMo works? Uh, you mean to prove that MoMo works as a technology? Oh, is that using MIMO? Yeah, and we can use the fader as well. Right. Okay, so L let me let me put Paul in a picture as well. So we're gonna run a, we're gonna run the sequence. Okay. Signal sequence. Okay. We're gonna switch in the fading simulator. So it's just a logical switch. At the back there's a, a digital LPDS bus. around about fluctuating around about 100 megabits per second okay so that's this is with um, fading on right okay so now both of these MIMO channel both these channels mm -hmm. and this MIMO signal are being faded so there's a multi-path being added to the signals right now if I turn the fading off on mm -hmm. this box mm -hmm. then normally what you would expect is an improvement because the, the fading's been removed Right. And now the UE is like in a direct line of sight right. communication with a base station, so there's no multipath involved. Right. If I turn this fading off, you see that actually the data rate drops to about half. Okay. And the, the reason for that is now the UE is in, directly in front of the base station. Right. So it doesn't have any multipath gain from the MIMO, so it, it right. can't distinguish one channel from the other. Right. So with fading, we're actually getting the full, full throughput. So we're, you know, this demonstration is kind of proving that the multipath multi is necessary, necessary and we're actually using that multipath to establish two independent channels between the base station and the UE. And you say that the UE can sustain this um, from 8 to 8, this kind of a data transmission? Uh, we haven't tried it 100% without without disconnecting in between, but we run, we'll run this demo all day long. Mm. Okay. It seems pretty, it's pretty stable. Okay, thanks Paul.